Hey guys, Crewman here, and I've started to see a lot of news stories pop up again about 4090 cables catching fire, issues with 4090s, uh, just a lot of problems all of a sudden it kind of came back out of the woodwork. Now I know it hasn't stopped, but it's just getting a lot of traction. And on a lot of my videos, uh, I have seen a lot of people asking me questions about what they should do with their 4090s and the cables. So I wanted to make an updated video on things you can do to help mitigate the chances of your 4090 catching on fire or the cable melting or anything that could go wrong with it or even the PCB cracking. Now, I do want to say that just because you follow the steps in this video doesn't mean it will be foolproof. I can't guarantee anything 100%. However, what I can tell you is that I've had that I've owned 44 different 4090s since launch and I have never had an issue and I've used a multitude of cables and I've installed them in a multitude of ways and I've had no issues and I've done quite a few videos in the past which I will put links down below to the 4090 playlist and you can check out any of them if you would like to see them as well. So before we get started I want you guys to watch either before we, we get started or after the video this video by DeBauer. It is a fantastic video. I'll put a link up here and a link down below. Uh, it basically goes over everything that's wrong with the 12 volt high power cable and why it is having issues besides, you know, the obvious user error and, and things like that. It's just going into the nuts and bolts of why it is a bad cable. And it will actually help you understand where I am coming from with my recommendations. Okay, so the first thing I want to talk about is adapters, not cables. Now, the cable that comes with the 4090, this thing, this thing right here, uh, I can't, this thing right here, that is not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the 90 degree adapters or any third party adapter that you can buy that you connect the cable to. So you would connect this cable to that adapter that's on the screen and then you connect that adapter to your GPU. Do not buy any of them. I don't care. What model, I mean, Cable Mod is a very reputable company, and you see they already issued a recall for theirs. All these adapters, don't buy any of them. They're all trash. Don't buy, just don't buy them. Basically, whenever you use an adapter in any kind of electrical component, you know, the more adapters you use, the higher the percentage chance of it to fail. Now, how, how high, you know, I'm not an expert, but I'm telling you, if you don't use any adapters like the ones pictured here, you have a lower chance of your cable of your cables failing of your GPU failing of having any points of failure So the less points of failure the lower the chance you're gonna have an issue now If you can't fit it in your case or it doesn't look as cool that sucks, but it's just the way it is I can't you know do what you want at your own risk But if you're watching this video, you don't want your 4090 to melt or catch on fire or any bad thing that could happen to it So do not use one of these adapters so the next thing I want to go over, when you are setting this thing up, you want to set it up in a way that causes as, as, le as least amount, the least amount of stress on the cable as possible. AKA, if you need to do bends on your cable or whatever, you want to bend it before you install it, right? You want to go like, you want to bend, I'm just using this cable as an example, you want to bend it before you install it and you want to install it. And on that note as well, you also want to use a GPU bracket. You want this GPU to not move. You don't want it to sag. You don't want it to do anything. If it doesn't move, if it doesn't sag, there's not going to be any pressure on your adapter. And if there's no pressure on your adapter, the odds of something going wrong are a lot lower. You know, and as well as GPU sag on the 4090 is real and you could have a cracked PCB, which could be a whole nother problem that you might not get an RMA for. So you do not want these things to move at all. All right, you want them to be stable and you know, you just don't want any movement. As well as when you are installing these things, since we're talking about keeping them stable, you wanna make sure that when you install any of these cables in your 4090, that they are flush with the GPU. There cannot be any gaps. You cannot see any gaps or anything. It has to be flush. And as I say in my install guides, you might even wanna tug on it just a tiny bit, a tiny bit to make sure it's not going anywhere. Okay, you, re you really, this is really key. If there's, there's no gaps, then it's probably made a connection. Especially if you have a newer revision 4090 that the pins in the GPU are a little bit longer, which helps with any issues. Finally, the only, you want, besides the stock cables, the only two cables that I can recommend are the Corsair, 
one that works with your own that I'm sorry that works with only Corsair cable or Corsair power supplies. I use this on one on my test bench currently, and the cable mod cable the cable mod uh, Pro Pro Mesh 12 volt high powered cable. I can only recommend these two because these are the only two that I have used. I'm not saying there are not other cables that work, but I'm only going going to recommend ones that I use. So guys, again, to do a quick recap, all right, no one, no adapters. Two, use a bracket when you install your cable, when you install your GPU. Three, pre-bend your cable before you install it. Four, make sure your cable is flush with the GPU and there are no issues. And, fi and finally, don't move this thing. Once it's installed, just don't move it. One other thing that could be somewhat controversial but maybe something worth noting, you might not want to buy a used 4090 off somebody because you don't know if they were fast and loose with their cables or if they installed it correctly. Now, I'm a big proponent of buying used GPUs, but if you're not sure, don't mess with it. Um, so that's just something to consider as well, you, where you might only want to buy new 4090s. This isn't going to 100% guarantee you don't have issues, but if you follow these steps, you will heavily mitigate any problems that you have. And again, go watch. I would highly recommend watching this video by DeBauer, which will help you understand why these things are just garbage. So again, thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe for more GPU content. Crew man out.